Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction. This week, I'm doing three different reactions to three different performances of Oh Holy Night, and we're kicking it off today with Lucy and Martha Thomas. Uh. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Is that the first time I've heard Martha kind of belt it out? I'm trying to remember. I really love that dynamic level for her. She's she's singing a little stronger than I've heard her for the most part, at least in previous songs. First of all, let me just go back to the instant I saw these two beautiful young ladies in their beautiful sparkly gold dresses. I love the candlelight. It just feels like a festive special occasion. <laughs> Lucy Solo was of course carried on that beautiful, rich, clear, polished tone. He's gonna bark. <coughs> I knew it. No, no. And as opposed to Martha, she wasn't belting at all yet on the stars are brightly shining. She's staying very light there, whereas Martha was kind of singing it out. In truth and error pining. You hear the difference in tone? The difference is Lucy's kind of caressing, caressing this first part, whereas Martha's kind of celebrating with her tone. So there's two different tones happening here, but they're both beautiful. One other thing I want to just point out about Martha's performance has to do with addiction. She's possibly the first person I've heard actually pronounce the g at the end of long lay the world. That's actually really hard to get that G out. So I'm impressed that she was able to do that. And then another beautiful word in Martha's singing was world, long lay the world. Maybe it's a bit of that British accent world, but it's so, so nicely sung. This is a hard word to sing. And you can hear with amateur singers that they're unsure how to go about singing that word. It can be tricky to learn to soften that R, that RL sound, and the way she sang it was just perfect. And the same thing on the word worth. Felt its worth. As opposed to, felt its worth. And I have heard it. We probably all have heard, heard some singer or another sing it that way and have a little cringe moment, right? That's not the case with Martha. A thrill of hope The weary world rejoices For yonder breaks A new glorious morn Yes, she's it up! Fall on your knees Oh Beautiful. Oh my gosh, their blend. 
Their blend is a match made in heaven. It's, it's a sister blend. Only these two can create this sound. I can't even remember half the things I was going to say because I've just I just got so swept up in this. We need to go back again to when they started duetting, when they started harmonizing and singing together. how they are both in a strong mix belt voice here. The, the way they connect together on the word hear, straight tone, no vibrato there, it's just like, oh, a little jolt of electricity there. And same thing on the word voices, on that voice syllable, straight tone, perfectly matched tone, perfectly matched uh, dynamic level. It's like a jolt of electricity, jolt of electricity on both those parts. Let's hear that again. Oh, hear the angel voices. Oh, night divine. Oh, night when Christ was born. Yes, and, and, and again, the dynamics in this section were magical. This is such a perfect example of how dynamics can be so powerful and so expressive and create such um, emotional pool. On the O oh, Night was big. And then as di Divine O oh, Night, that part all came back down. So it's big, then, then very soft, and then it starts to build here again when Christ was born. This is just so powerful. It's like, it, it's like ocean waves. Just picture a big one crashing and then come, going back out to sea. And here comes another one crashing, you know, very dramatic waves. And that's what's happening with the dynamics here. Just a little props shout out to Lucy on the way she hit the, the word night. The C to the B flat. The C was head voice dominant mixed voice. We know that that's where Lucy likes to go. It's a real specialty in Lucy's voice is that head voice dominant mixed voice. Safe production, but still strong tone. So that first note is the head voice dominant mixed voice. And then on the B flat, the second note of night, the B flat, she suddenly, you can hear the shift. She switches gears and she sings that note in a full belt. It's beautiful the way she's done that. Let's hear that again. So there's all kinds of magic in this section. I just need to hear it again. Oh, night divine. Oh, night. When Christ was born. Now it's growing again. part there and, and just 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 the chord progression there too is cool by the way the production on this is also really beautiful the, the strings the percussion and really just it's all working with the vocals so beautifully <laughs> Touching. 
beautiful. Ah, basket case. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I know. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of my my fellow Lucy fans have had this experience during this watching this video. So I know. I know. I know. I'm not alone in that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that sweet smile from from Martha. It's. It's like she's just she's just smiling at her big sister and it, it just feels like it just feels like they are very connected. And I met, I've mentioned that I think in most of the videos with Lucy and Martha that I've watched that you can really feel that there's a special connection with between them and um it reads it reads on camera and it definitely reads in the duetting and the singing together. They have pretty different voices and pretty different tones, but ooh, when they come together, they are so well matched. Let's just watch that last little section one more time. so sweet just makes you feel all warm and all warm and gushy inside so beautiful so this week I've got I've got these two as a duet I've got a solo performance and I've got a group performance they all work so well in, in such different ways this duet though there is something really really powerful about this duet and pure and heartfelt and this is about as good as it gets I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you really enjoyed watching this with me, you know the drill. I'm always thankful when I see the super thanks come in. We can connect. Follow me on Instagram. Help me pick the videos on Patreon. And I want to wish all of you a very happy holiday season. Thank you so much for being part of my community, for your kind comments, for the interactions we have during the premieres. I really appreciate the support and the lovely connections I've made with you all. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.